After winning their first two games, the football team at Pontiac High School was determined to make it three wins by beating the Ferndale High School football team. Well, we had to do the right thing. The Pontiac team unable to play Friday evening after a COVID outbreak among members of the team. We just had a, uh, a few of um, our players tested positive for COVID. And just out of abundance of caution, we want to make sure that we get everyone tested and not uh, penny, put anyone in harm's way. That means the Friday night lights for the game at Ferndale High School have been dimmed. We're disappointed because we love the opportunity to play and challenge ourselves. Um, however, we also understand that there's obstacles along the way. The coach says it also means that based on rules from the Michigan High School Athletic Association, this game will change the team's current winning record. Right, I would love it to be a no contest or uh, we figure out a way to be able to, to make the game up. At this point, it's a, a, it's a forfeit for us. Uh, so we'll, we'll take a, a loss on our schedule. Medical professionals say COVID numbers are up as classes are back in session and many people participated in summertime travel. So the new booster is under review today by the FDA um, and hopefully it'll be approved soon and available fairly soon. But doctors make it clear that even if people receive booster shots, outbreaks can still happen. Having a recent booster will help mitigate things like this, but it won't prevent them completely. Fox 2 reached out to Ferndale High School for reaction, but we were told no comment. We also asked Pontiac school officials how many players tested positive for COVID and were any coaches impacted, but we were told the information could not be released due to privacy rules. As a coach, Jefferson says it's his goal to make sure his players understand the importance of winning on and off the football field. Our goal and, and what our purpose is, is to um, help them, you know, more than just sports. Uh, we're, we're helping to guide them along for the rest of their lives. So if we're not doing that and we're just winning, um, I consider that a failure. And Ferndale, Ingrid Kelly, Fox, two names.